Hey guys, welcome back to Marvel Velocity X. Oh, so Valentine's Day is literally, is it even a week away anymore? Yeah, it's like a week and some days. And last year for Valentine's Day, I did like a super dark look and like some gemstones. And this year I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm excited. So don't forget to like and comment what you're doing uh, down below for Valentine's Day, if you're celebrating Valentine's Day, or like what the plan is. And thank you for my intro. Today, this is I think my fourth time trying, so like, ooh, child, you don't even know. I had like a whole breakdown. I was like, what's happening? Why can't I do this? What's going on? And then I took a nap. <laughs> now I feel better. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wow, when I was a kid, I really kind of slept on taking naps, huh? Now as an adult, I feel like I need them just to like function. All right, now we're going in that like deep chocolate shade but we're gonna keep it pretty low just right here nice and tight right here remember to trust the process when you're doing makeup especially if you're doing darker shades it's super easy to be like awesome i look like a freaking raccoon but just you know keep blending keep it blending i'm gonna tell y'all about my mistake i made earlier today so as a makeup artist I feel like it's easy to kind of fall into the rabbit hole of like what other makeup artists are doing or like what other techniques are doing and that's what I did today and it messed me all the way up I tried to follow this technique that I just was not used to whatsoever and my makeup was not it won't do any y'all I was about to have a full-blown panic attack because I was like oh my god I lost my touch I'm done, I'm finished, which obviously just made me real dramatic, but it's easy to, you know, slip into doubt, like, oh, well, this person's doing so much better than I am, let me follow their technique, and, you know, that person also has had years of experience doing that technique, whereas I'm just following it after watching a video for five minutes, like, that's just not the vibe, that's not, <laughs> that's not going to work so well, so, so that now, after I took my little nappy nap, I feel much better because I'm like, okay, this is starting to get way smoother because I'm sticking to like what I'm used to doing. So I say all that to say, long-winded and all, trust the process and trust yourself because it's easy to compare ourselves, especially as women. It's so easy to be like, Mer, but look at her, 
her. She's doing this and she's doing that. That's fantastic. That's her journey that they chose. So I have blend, blend, blend. Now we're going to use that like really pretty um, cocoa brown shade right here. I noticed the brush I'm using because I want it to be really light and airy and I want it to blend really easily and to be seamless. If I was using a tighter flat brush, that would really like pack on the shade. But I don't want to do that. I just really want this to kind of marry one another. I want the two shades to marry one another. Oh, that took a lot longer than I planned. But look, I did my first graphic liner. Oh my God. And the crowd goes wild. So there are a few. This is a little difficult, okay? I'm not going to lie to y'all. Uh, graphic liner, you have to like be really steady <laughs> with your hand and like make sure you're using your brush color. Of concentration that's why I didn't film it because I literally had to do this eye like three times the third time's a charm okay I'm gonna put my lashes on but first I have to tell you guys some exciting news also I want a giveaway it's a big deal because I never ever ever win giveaways so I'm gonna show you all the packaging I took it off already because like I said I've done this video like three times today because anyways I'm not gonna talk about it so the company is called wink lash and I'm going to show on the screen what um, their Instagram is. She sent me so much stuff wanting this giveaway. The giveaway I entered in was on uh, Christmas and then I, she told me I won on New Year's Day and I was like, this is my mind. So these are her glow glass. Let me show you. She sent me all three. So this one is glow. It's this really pretty like cherry red sparkly color. I like it a lot. This one though is called Don't Stop. And doesn't it give you all the 80s vibes? Like that neon pink with like the purple iridescent. Love it. This one's called Tender and it's like this really pretty rich wine color with purple little um, pigments in there. And then this is her metallic eyeshadow. Like come on so pretty look at them look at them go so this one's opulence it's just like pure gold it makes me think of bruno mars 24 karat song and then this is sachet and it's rose gold with like platinum um, pigments in there then the final one is diamond which is all platinum but wait there's more then the lashes. I mean, it's called Wink Lash, the company, so of course we've got lashes. This one's called Extra, super pretty. This one is called Lush, which I like a lot. This one's called Daddy, which is actually the one I'm gonna use today. Real cute, real cute. This one, okay, so I trimmed it earlier, so one of the lashes are gonna look shorter than the other. <laughs> it's not her, it's me, I trimmed it. This one's called Wink, and this is the one I trimmed. But like, come on, it's a cassette player. So cute. Thank you. So happy. I literally sent her an Instagram message and was like screaming because I never wanted anything. So I'm going to put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. So this was a struggle. Um, I'm not used to lashes like these. They're incredible. I'm just not used to, uh, you have to like wait like 30 to 40 seconds for the glue to dry. And I guess you're supposed to be doing that, but with all my other lashes, I just plop them bad boys on real quick. <laughs> so this is kind of a struggle. Um, but beautiful, stunning lashes. And honestly, with this, I'm so not used to this like white graphic liner. And since I used a base instead of actual eyeliner, it's been a little bit of struggle, but it's fine. We're going on this journey together. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line with the Revlon Color Stay in black. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Honestly, you guys, I've been using the same brow powder. It's number five, Benefit Cosmetics, same thing. And then I'm just going to use just a refresher, these three shades to smoke out my bottom lash line. And I'll be right back. So I'm so happy that I found this brush. I forgot I had it. It's like really tight and pointy. So when I smoke out my lower lash line, it's made for um, like tighter spaces and it's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, do my foundation. It's the same one I always use, 380, the Pro Filter Hydrating Lumber Foundation from Fenty. I'm gonna need to buy some more for tea. I wanna try to get some new uh, concealer? I've literally been using this concealer since Jesus walked the earth. But I truly just don't know what I want to try. So I'll be right back. All right 
Y'all, I'm feeling it. Okay, so I fixed this lash. Let me also just say, the super cool, amazing thing about these lashes are they're so insanely light. Like, they're super, super light and fluffy. Like, some lashes, a lot of them, you can feel them on your face. Like, you're like, Lord, I can't see. Or, like, you can see, but it's just, like, your eyes feel really weighed down and heavy. And, like, I feel like everyone has had that experience with, like, you know, once or twice with lashes. But these, they are so light, so comfortable. They're amazing. All right. So I'm just going to go out my contour a little bit more. I felt like it was, like, a little muddy, so I'm going to fix that real quick. I'm going to be using the Fade Into Hue ColourPop. We're gonna be using this shade here, Paradise, for my blush. And I might mix it with Love and Warhol. I didn't realize what it was called. And then for lips, I'm using Trendsetter by Morphe. And then Hubs. But I think I may use like a mauve pink as well. So, hold for that. And then for highlight, I'm using Dazzle Dust Highlight. This is the shade, it just says four. This is also from Wink Lash. Look at that. This is beautiful rose and show I'm so excited. And then of course finishing it off with our Decay Setting Spray. All right, here we go. Where is my other pink lipstick? Oh yeah, this is the perfect like pink. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're just lining them and we're gonna use, where's my color? Hugs here. But we ain't done yet. We're not doing all this brown. We're also gonna use MAC in Relentless Red. I don't even know if this exists anymore. I also don't know when I bought this, so. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use the highlighter. Then we are about to finish. Can you believe it? You guys have made it this far. Congratulations. Glorious. That is glorious. Oh, wow. Well. See what I mean? I just look like you dipped me in a glazed donut. Child, you can't tell me nothing. I am a hoe for some highlight. H and H hoe for highlight. And then I'm gonna uh, do something with this hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the completed look. Remember, this took me like four tries. Actually, I think, yeah, I think this was the fourth try. I had to take a nap. So the message today is do not give up. Keep trying. Eat something and take a nap and try it again. But I hope you guys have a very fun and safe Valentine's Day for celebrating Valentine's Day. Have an incredible time. And um, remember to stay safe, stay sane, and be well. And again, thank you for choosing planet Earth. Not like you really had a choice, I don't think. Like, I don't think you could have picked. But what I'm saying is thank you for staying here on planet Earth. Your life is important. Your voice matters. Your mind matters. And I hope you guys have an incredible time. I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. And I love you guys. Bye.